What I'd like to show you today is how you can use your Zoom H1 to record audio commentary right on top of the gameplay footage you're capturing from your games console. So you can save the time it would take in post-processing to record a separate audio track and mix it in. On the back of your Zoom H1, make sure it's set to low cut, auto levels off and record format to WAV. Next up, we need to plug a compatible USB lead into our Zoom H1 and into our computer. You'll notice the screen on the Zoom H1 alternates between USB card and USB audio. Press the record button when USB audio is displayed. You then have to press the button again to select the recording quality. I always have my Zoom H1 set to 44kHz 16-bit. Next, fire up the ReCentral software. You want to go into the settings by clicking the advanced button, then tick in the microphone box and select the Zoom H1 from the drop-down menu. Make sure Always On is ticked but not the save as separate MP3 file, unless you want to do post-processing on the audio separately. Click the settings button and slide the capture device down to minus five and have the microphone at 100. Click ready and we can fire up our console. Before you hit record, make sure you mute the audio on your laptop and don't have the audio from your TV too loud as it'll start to bleed across into the audio into your Zoom H1 and make your commentary too quiet. In this example, I'm capturing gameplay footage from an Xbox 360, but remember that a PS4 can only output audio to either HDMI to your TV or to your headset. So make sure that in this case you're using the HDMI option, otherwise you won't get any game audio in your captured file. Now we can start playing. Hit record on ReCentral and capture our gameplay footage and our audio commentary at the same time. Simple, fast and okay quality too. You will need to do some post-processing on the video file though, because I found the audio is far too quiet. So I take the file into Premiere Pro, but you could use Movie Maker or any other video editing program, and I amplify the audio track as required. Okay, that's enough from me. Please put your questions and comments down below. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.